Like she's only 14 years old and she is more jacked than most chicks in the fitness industry, to be honest. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredates.com. Today we're going to be reacting to uh, the gymnast Marley Estevez. She's been getting, uh, blowing up on social media lately because of her... Uh, you know, extraordinary muscularity. She is only 14 years old and yet has better arms and delts than most teenage dudes, you know, who are multiple years older than her and are actually working out at the gym. So, you know, she, pretty much every single one of her posts ends up getting guys and girls, you know, duetting or reacting or whatever it's called, where they kind of just talk about how jacked she is and there's even speculation about if she's on gear or not, you know, SARM, steroids, whatever, because she almost, you know, reminds you of one of those young, like myostatin deficient or like Hercules kids that has uh, disproportionate amounts of muscularity for their age. So like she's only 14 years old and she is more jacked than most chicks in the fitness <laughs> industry, to be honest. Like most chicks in their 20s who've been doing you know, banned booty workouts and shit for their entire lives. And she has better uh, arms and delts than 90, 95% of them. And she's only 14. So again, the first thing you have to consider is she's like a veteran gymnast from what I understand. So there's not very much information about her. Um, she's only 14. She's a gymnast with a big following, obviously. And it seems like she has been training for a while, you know, and obviously the amount of muscle and strength you need to do some of these movements, it's quite demanding. It's not something that you can just do with a you know poor um, athleticism or a poor physique. Like this is stuff that the body will adapt in order to be able to do this stuff. And if you are not built for the task, you're not going to be able to perform as a you know high caliber gymnast. So obviously it's not like she's not lifting. I don't even know if she lifts, to be honest. Like there's very little information. But even if she's not, she's doing a lot of stuff that requires a significant amount of strength to be able to perform it. Like some of these movements in the gym are pretty insane, dude. Like to tell me you don't need a significant amount of upper body strength to be able to do this. You know, obviously you can see why the physique would, you know, have the stimulus to develop in the way it does. So it's not like just because she's not doing, you know, like bicep curls or something that it somehow equates to, there's no way you could have this physique. You know what I mean? So, but again, this is above average for well above average for a gymnast, I would think, at this age. But for a lot of guys, you know, we've had some situations recently where there's been like, you know, young kids, like 14, 15 years old, taking SARMs, taking fucking Trenbolone, taking actual steroids. And it seems like on TikTok, it is, you know, an issue. You know, people are seeing guys like, uh, I don't know, young TikTok stars who are getting jacked on uh, SARMs or steroids. And then they get, uh, you know, Im the impression that they get is that they have to do it themselves in order to, you know, attain a physique that is then going to be comparable to their icons in order to build a presence online. So obviously with girls, it's not like that doesn't happen. There are a lot of girls that feel, you know, the pressure to, you know, achieve that physique that is accepted in whatever, you know, vertical they're doing, especially in the fitness industry. It's very, very common for girls to be on SARMs, Anivar, Clenbuterol, lots of shit. And for her, it seems absolutely insane to even wrap your head around the fact that would a gymnast coach be giving her anabolics in order to perform better? I would like to think no, even though I'm sure it does happen, but I would like to think no. So for her, you know, it's not like there's a lot of background information. It's not like you can see a transformation from, you know, a genetic baseline. It's like, she's only fucking 14 years old. Like this is the genetic baseline. So for her, she seems to just have exceptional genetics. She almost looks like a younger uh, Bakar Nabieva from uh, in the fitness industry. A lot of people are familiar with her. She has a pretty big following. And I'm sure with the genetics that, uh, you know, Marley has with her athletic background or whatever, I bet she could succeed in the fitness industry in the coming years if she really wanted to. Like some of the, uh, the background information, like she has like visible abs, like big arms and delts, I guess, you know, proportionally to her physique. Um, obviously the reason more people are even commenting is her, you know, ov not overdeveloped, but like, you know, the muscularity is certainly much greater than every single other chick that is in her age bracket or even, 
a decade older, realistically. Like there's not very many people you see with these kind of muscle inserts and the development of them. So is it realistically attainable? Like, you know, for most people not. I bet a lot of 14 year old chicks would probably need to take something to look like this. And that's a horrible idea, obviously. But for her, like I think from what I can tell, the genetics just seem to be there. She has exceptional muscularity from the start of her page. It's not like, you know, she started TikTok and then realized, oh, like I can make it on this platform. I just need to get more jacked or something like a lot of the dudes are doing. Instead, she was just, she's looked the same since day one. Granted, she's only been on the platform for what appears to be, I don't know, a handful of months or something. But still, it's not like her physique is like drastically changing or anything. And it's kind of a shame that she's getting, uh, you know, hate for having, you know, developed muscularity. Like this is something that um, is a genetic trait that most people would, you know, dudes would be blessed to have this. And a lot of girls, they, you know, are blessed to have it too. It is just how you perceive it. We go to her Instagram again. It's just, you know, same thing. Normal girl, but just, uh, you know, some angles you can really see how... Um, like here it looks totally normal. There's a little bit of a cap delt, whatever. When you go to her, uh, you know, the TikToks, obviously you see some of the definition, the separation between the arms and the delts, and she has a bit more mass than 99% of people her age, to be honest. But it's not like it is some crazy, like roided out physique or anything, even though I'm sure a lot of chicks would probably actually end up taking stuff in order to look like this. Now, one thing people don't think about really is the fact that, you know, a lot of girls are not taking, you know, SARM, steroids, whatever at this age, but a lot are getting haphazardly just thrown onto combined oral contraceptives that have synthetic estrogen analogs and synthetic actual steroids in them, which a lot of people don't realize is the fact that the progestins used in combined oral contraceptives that are just given to 14 year old girls like candy are actually analogs of anabolic steroids. You know, we have nandrolone is the parent compound and the analog of it, levonorgestrel, as well as a lot of the other progestins are used in these combined oral contraceptives and just given to 14 year old chicks like candy in order to basically castrate them throughout their teenagehood, which is not, I feel like a suboptimal birth control method that can actually blunt significant progression of neurological processes and bodily development and physiologic functions in general. So I know this is kind of a side tangent, but it's just something I, you know, popped into my head when I'm thinking about young teenage girls getting thrown on hormones haphazardly. Like, yeah, I'm sure there is gymnast coaches that are giving out, you know, SARMs and shit to help their athletes. Hopefully she's not because that would be, uh, you know, obviously not the best thing as a developing young girl. But in addition to that, how many times do you see, you know, some, I don't know, your little fucking sister or, you know, some girl, you know, who is thrown on birth control at a ridiculously young age without even any thought to it. Like the kind of degree you would have to go to to get prescribed a steroid as a male, like you're probably not even gonna get one unless you're, even if you're clinically hypogonadal, you might still have a hard time getting what you need as a 40 year old man, but they'll give to 14 year old girls combined oral contraceptives with testosterone derivatives slash analogs, like literal <laughs> analogs of anabolic steroids in order to castrate them progestins and then ethanol estradiol on top of that and people don't realize that the castration of these young girls is leading to significant psychological problems probably neurological deficiencies um, physiologic deficiencies perhaps in many different aspects in terms of um, organ systems and whatnot and just uh, it's just not healthy in general you know stressing the liver out stressing out endocrine systems stressing out a lot of different shit that you don't need to be doing at 14 years old it's a total side tangent but I felt like it was how else am I going to bring that up in a fucking video? You know, we're talking about 14 year olds going on hormones and that is a relevant concept. I feel it's worth bringing the light for her though. Obviously that side tangent, totally relevant for her, obviously has a genetically superior physique that, you know, she has been uh, granted to fucking work with for gymnastics and whatnot. I'm sure it helps um, the muscularity and whatnot in order to do some of those crazy movements and whatnot. Um, and it kind of sucks that people are, you know, hating on her for having a bit more muscle than the next chick. But I think at the end of the day, it'll play in her favor. And I think she will become, uh, um, probably a good role model, to be honest, if she has a good attitude and a good personality, I'm sure if she's relatable in any other way, I'm sure that she will actually end up being a, uh, you know, she seems like a positive, upbeat girl. She has a physique that is like strongly differentiating her from the rest of the TikTokers. 
And um, she can put out the message that, you know, strong women are, uh, you know, it's good to be strong. You shouldn't be ashamed of muscle and blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm sure this could actually be spun into a positive way rather than everyone just doing like reaction videos to her, you know, her 3D delts and arms all the time. So anyways, as far as my conclusion, I'm going to say Natty just because I highly doubt she has educated herself about hormone use to the point that she would deploy this stuff nor do I think she would go out of her way to get it. The only situation I think would make any sense whatsoever is if her coach like very, very much wanted her to win some event and was willing to put her on performance enhancing compounds in order to facilitate it. Do I think that's a likely possibility at 14 years old? Highly doubtful unless she had some coach who was extremely unethical and didn't give a shit about her health whatsoever, which hopefully is not the case. And I am going to assume and give the benefit of the doubt here with the lack of background information and the lack of any kind of progression photos or anything to see that she is just a genetic phenom and will probably um, excel in some capacity, either in, uh, I don't know, the tick, it's not like TikTok is its own industry, but you know what I mean? Some sort of like fitness vertical, I am sure she will uh, excel at and probably will become a, some sort of a role model for, for girls, I think, for young girls. She probably has a good uh, opportunity to do that in front of her. So anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think this is uh, realistic, naturally? Do you think this is, it's impossible to have arms and delts like this as a girl at 14 years old. Even if she wasn't 14, dude, like pretty impressive nonetheless, in my opinion. But all the comments in the comment section, of course, are like, you know, little kids that are, you know, freaking the fuck out because she has bigger arms than they do, <laughs> even when they're training. But, you know, you never know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, natural or not. And, uh, you know, like, subscribe, check out my blog, moreplacemoredates.com. Follow me on Instagram, at moreplace underscore more dates. Facebook, Snapchat, bitch, Twitter, TikTok, Apple Podcasts. If you want to support the channel, you can check out anything I'm associated with in the video description below. My TRT clinic, it's all telemedicine from the comfort of your own home. Gorilla Mind, nootropic formulas, Gorilla Mode, pre-workout formulas that design myself from scratch and anything else I'm associated with. It's all in the video description below. Thank you guys for watching. Talk to you soon.